We were live at the Cherubim and Seraphim Unification Church of Nigeria Annual General Conference 2019 edition held at the resort in Festa area of Lagos and well attended by delegates and church leaders from the church from various parts of Nigeria. His Most Eminence, Baba Lakoso Solomon Adjigboyegalao, the Supreme Head, Cherubim and Seraphim Unification Church, emphasized the reason for this conference and what he hopes to achieve. I praise the very God of Cherubim and Seraphim who answered prayers of his elect for giving the light of compassion in his church by moving the hand of his elect to remove our tears in the key areas of our concerns. Hallelujah. 2018 was awesome by any standard for our church. The current year is also following that trend. And what I saw, I still felt I have been the dreamy land when I remembered my last visit to the South of Edmund University. I don't know whether I'm still in dream, but it is a reality. It was awesome. So this year is going to be more awesome than awesome. Because it should have either tag impossible and now we are in the tag of possibility. In this year 2019, more than ever before, the Onori Council will back on three key areas that are germane for our church, that is the Tobin and Seraphim Church of Nigeria. And these key areas are one, evangelism. This is very crucial as it is a great commission given by our Lord Jesus Christ on Mount Galilee. And it is also the core mandate of Jehovah and Seraphim Church, and indeed a mandate. Two, publicity. Our good news, which represents the light in us, must be constantly prophesied, so that others may see the light of God in His church and glorify His name. Let me say this pointedly. If you don't blow your trumpet, nobody will blow it for you. Nobody. Time has come for us as Sarah to blow a trumpet. Blow it on, on, on rooftop, blow it on, on the ground floor, blow it everywhere we go. Nobody blow it for you. And time has come. When we blow a trumpet, I know we will eventually possess a possession and regain a mandate. And I, all the other governments of this country, at all tiers, federal, state, and local government, if you want the right person to be in charge of responsible position, come to Sarah. They are bad, they are like, I, I guarantee them you will not be some. This year's conference was hosted by Faith Mission Cherubim and Seraphim Church, Satellite Town, Lagos. General Superintendent Apostolic Mother Oluwa Sheyejo Misholoye, Deputy Primate of the Faith Mission Cherubim and Seraphim Church, Satellite Town, one of the pioneers of the unification exercise of the Cherubim and Seraphim Church, delivered the first keynote address at the conference. Which is the Cherubim and Seraphim Church? All of us sitting here today are either born into the Cherubim and Seraphim fold or we walked into it and chose to become a member. It is common knowledge in Christendom in Nigeria today that our church is first starting to be breeding ground for gangsterism, thuggery, adultery, and drugs. A church founded after eight years of pleas from the Son and revelation of the Father before he gave his right. So, has suddenly become evil for us, especially among our youths. Many of our youth, many of our leaders, take to alcohol, even in their glorious white garments, the full glare of their children. Some have even turned their church premises to be pops. Many come to service, especially vigils, fully drunk, thinking they have come to worship God. These are abominable abominable practices before the Creator and they are part of the barriers standing as the wall of Jericho before the church today. F. Poverty. 
closely linked with the above is increasing poverty amongst the majority of our members, our women, our youth, especially can barely make ends meet, their body from hands to mouth. And because of this, because of this prevailing poverty among our members, some have turned themselves into slaves of the few what to do in the church. Reverend Mother Esther Bimbola Jai, founder of the Love of Christ Salvation, Cherubim and Seraphim Church, London, also another champion of the unification exercise, was there to charge members and leaders of the church to be good ambassadors of Christ and stay spotless, especially in this end time. The founder and the primate of the faith mission Cherubim and Seraphim Church, our eminence prophetess Dr. Marian Adelaye Akin Jogunla, launched a book on the first day of the conference. Some of the traditional rulers at the book launch had this to say about the primate and a book. I love the song and I love the spirit. By reading thereof, we bring to let us to be rivers and Christ is also my people. And I went down the lane, the last uh, paragraph, eight children. Mama, I'm going to go to the house. Your fire, we are just starting to open it. Emulate the good virtue of a woman. God will give it to you. God will give it to us. I'm not saying, I'm not discriminating, but as Baba has said, it will come from Sarah. Yeah. On Friday, February 1st, 2019, the second day of the conference, the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, who was represented by the chaplain of the Asorok Chapel, Pastor Sheyi Malamo, admonished the church members to continuously pray for Nigeria. Governor Akiwumi Ambode of Lagos State also was at the event represented by his special advisor on religious matters, Reverend Dr. Veros Kola Wole. I want to sincerely appreciate all your faithful adherents for their support to all policies and, and projects of Lagos State Government. We pray that we shall all reap the good reward of our labor in the Lord. On this note, I wish you a fruitful deliberation. Elder Joseph Utubu, Christian Association of Nigeria, National Vice Chairman, was also there to identify with the Cherubim and Seraphim Unification Church of Nigeria on this occasion. There are some of us born into CNS. There are others we just join in. But what I believe I want to be CNS, more and more CNS. For God's sake, we need them. You bring some of them away. Please get them back. We need them. They are part of this system. We need them back. So how will your children benefit? We've been thinking about this for the past 40 years. So one of the reasons why we set up the foundation was this Morimolade Education Foundation. What we are going to use it for, in addition to start up this university, is that we want to have a foundation so any seraph child that is admitted to the university cannot pay, that foundation should pay. 
At the conference, the church resolved to strive to play a key and pivotal role in the scheme of things in Nigeria, while also taking time off to discuss the state of the nation. Various speakers at the conference enjoined President Momaji Buhari and the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to live up to their promise to conduct and ensure a free, fair and credible general election. The church also commended the president's fight against corruption, but urged that the war against graft must be broad-based and not selective. Oh, God,